Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you guys are having an absolutely fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, whatever it is for you when this video finally reaches you. Today's video is one that I am super excited to share with you guys because I'm so curious to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this particular paranormal case because it's to do with an entity that I've personally never heard of before this encounter and I'm very curious to know if any of you have had an encounter with a similar entity or if you have any thoughts or opinions on this experience. It always freaks me out when I hear about new entities that are out there but it never truly surprises me because I know in my heart where there is light there is darkness and I know that there are some dark entities out there. But with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoy this story time and if you guys have any paranormal cases or even true crime cases that you want me to cover in the near future, definitely let me know that in the comment section down below as well. But before we get into today's video, I would very quickly like to thank today's video sponsor, Honey. Lately, I feel like all that I've been, well, Okay, not just lately, I feel like all I do is online shop and that is where today's video sponsor Honey comes into play because Honey is literally your online shopping best friend. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and then automatically tests them when you're checking out. And what's so cool is you can get Honey for free on your computer with just two simple clicks. Whenever you're checking out on one of Honey's 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up and all that you have to do is click apply coupons. It's that simple. Then you just wait a couple of seconds while Honey searches for coupons for that site. And if they find a working code, you'll just watch the price drop. Honestly, guys, I have a shopping problem when it comes to clothes, so I've absolutely loved using Honey. So to get Honey free today, go to joinhoney.com slash Haley. That's joinhoney.com slash Haley. And thanks so much to Honey for sponsoring this video. But with that being said, let's get into today's paranormal encounter because like I said, it's very strange. It's unlike anything that I've personally heard of, especially as of lately, and I'm very curious to know what you guys think. So this is titled Confessions of the Whisper Man. I can't believe I'm writing this at all, let alone telling a single soul. A big part of me is actually afraid to share this. Almost like sharing it will dig me a deeper hole into this hell the entity has been causing me. It's crazy to me that in just a few short months, I went from a life I was excited to live to a life that I'm terrified of the future within. All because I didn't believe in the paranormal soon enough to protect myself better. I guess that's why I'm writing this, honestly, is to protect some other skeptic out there from making the same mistake that I have by not taking this as serious as I should have. It all started with my six-year-old Eli having nightmares. I'm a single mom and there are no words to tell you the love that I have for my son. So when I heard his little scared voice calling out to me from his room, mommy, I immediately got up to see what was wrong. I assumed he must be sick or something because he never really yelled for me in the night. Since he was born, he's been a great sleeper. When I went into his room, he was hiding underneath his cartoon themed sheets and trembling. Assuming it was nothing but a bad dream, I held him for a little while and then offered him to come and sleep with me in my room for the night. This was the start of what would become many nightmares for Eli. When I would ask him what he was dreaming about or what had him so scared, he would mostly ignore me and continue with tears down his face. One night at around 2 a.m., I woke up to a trembling Eli above my head. I asked him if he had another bad dream and he looked around the room as if someone was watching his each and every move. He put his hand covering his mouth and leaned in close to me. I'll never forget what he said. The whisper man keeps getting closer, mommy. The whisper man? I was so confused. My mind raced trying to remember what movie or show we'd recently watched that had a whisper man in it. Nothing. My mind was blank. Who's the whisper man, Eli? I asked him. Eli looked around again as if he was waiting for someone to catch him talking to me. He lives outside my window and he whispers to me, scary things. He keeps getting closer and I'm scared. I asked Eli why he hadn't told me about this whisper man before and he went on to explain the whisper man told him that if he told me, then I would also see him. 
Eli climbed into bed with me and snuggled up closely. I held him and told him there was no such thing as the Whisper Man, and that even if there was, I would make sure he never hurt him. Sadly, only one of those things has held to be true. The entire time I kept trying to trace my mind and remember back to anything we could have watched that would have scared Eli into thinking there was someone outside his window at night, but nothing. Things got much more terrifying though when Eli would wake up screaming, saying that the Whisper Man was now inside his room. When I went rushing in, there were unexplainable scratches on Eli's body in places Eli couldn't reach. I realized in that moment I'd never asked Eli what the Whisper Man whispered to him. At this point, I guess I was still in denial that this could be actually something paranormal. Eli told me that the Whisper Man shares what he calls confessions with him. I immediately noted that was a big word for my six-year-old. Scary confessions of things that he's going to do. He said the Whisper Man told him that soon he was going to hurt me. I didn't know what had happened to my son and why his mind was so dark. This was so unlike him, so I made a doctor's appointment, to which I was told Eli had an active imagination. On my way to work the next day, though, I got into a tragic accident, and in the ringing in my ears, I could hear the confessions of the Whisper Man. I was so confused. He was telling me he wouldn't stop until Eli's soul was his. I tried to tell him he could take mine and said, but he said he wanted the pure soul of my son and that he simply wanted to torture me. Since then, Eli's been sleeping well, but I know why he wasn't before, because lately, outside of my window, all night, the whisper man taps on the glass of my window. His whispers are getting closer to me as the night goes on. He tells me that he still wants the soul of my son and he wants me to suffer. He confesses things to me that I can't even repeat ways that the devil himself is coming into the world. The whispers won't go away and I'm terrified for my son. I know that I sound crazy, but this is true. You have to believe me. There is an entity out there called the Whisper Man. He whispers your deepest, darkest fears and secrets to you and then brings them to light. I'm doing everything that I can to protect my son, but I can feel it getting stronger and me getting weaker. And slowly, my son's been changing despite having been sleeping well. He seems distant, he seems off, something isn't right with him, and I worry that with each passing day, I'm getting further away from my son and closer to whatever entity wants him. If your children talk to you about the Whisper Man, believe them, do what you can to protect them. I ruled it a dream for far too long, and now I'm afraid that it's far too late. There is darkness among us. Hear my warning, because trust me, I've heard it. Protect yourself. Sincerely, the no longer skeptical. And that is the end of this particular experience. I don't know what to make of this particular story. What I find strange is how she said that he wants her son, but now he's outside of her window. But the more that I was thinking about it, I was kind of thinking that maybe it's his way of breaking her down so she can't protect Eli as much as she once was. I'm very curious, I mean, I don't think I really want to know, but I would be curious to know what it is the Whisper Man whispers. I mean, clearly it, it told Eli that it was going to cause harm to his mom and she did get into an accident. And since that accident, she's been hearing him too. But I'm sure there are people who are going to think that this isn't really happening, that it's all in their heads. So I would seriously love to know all of your guys' thoughts and opinions on this particular story. Do you think that it's true? Do you think there's a whisper man out there? Have you had any similar experiences? Or do you think it's either a made up story or, um, you know, explained by something else? Definitely, definitely let me know. But that is it for the confessions of the whisper man. It really is scary to think of how many entities could be out there, how many are out there, and how many times parents rule it as, oh, it's just a bad dream, oh, my kid just has an active imagination, when really they're hearing things and experiencing things that maybe the parent just hasn't seen yet. I've done videos in the past on why children are so open to the paranormal and the other side, so it wouldn't surprise me that if there was a dark entity in the area, it would be drawn to Eli but I just wonder why it was drawn to Eli in the first place and why it wants Eli's soul. But I'm curious to know all of your guys' 
thoughts, opinions, and theories. Once again, I would just love to thank Honey for sponsoring today's video. I just wanted to remind you guys to get Honey free today. Go to joinhoney.com slash Haley. And thanks so much to Honey for sponsoring this video. That is it for today's video, you guys. If you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed, but you do enjoy my videos, I would seriously absolutely love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, I love you.